One of the most common questions we see and hear is, do I have enough money? How much do I need for retirement? You may be someone working, making a good wage, trying to figure out exactly how that translates over to a retirement plan. First thing you have to do is make sure you're not falling victim to some major misconceptions. I'm here to talk about three misconceptions we see all the time when it comes to retirement income planning and budgeting. If at any point throughout this video, you wanna take a deeper dive into your specific situation, we are offering a free retirement tune-up. You can access that in the link in the description below. Welcome back everybody, and if you are new here to our page, my name is Andrew Takacelli, Senior Vice President at WA Smith Financial Group. We are a team of fiduciary advisors based in Ohio, working with individuals and businesses all across the country, uh, here to provide you financial peace of mind and really teach you all things financial. So misconception number one that we see very often is an individual that comes in and thinks that in retirement, they have to replace 100% of their gross salary. Make sure you understand, I said gross. They want to replace 100% of their gross salary. So let's walk through this scenario real quick and really determine why it's a misconception. We have an individual here who has a $100,000 gross salary. The problem with this idea that you need to replace it all is that while you're working, that $100,000 gets broken down quite a bit here. So let's assume an individual here is, is still saving. They're plugging about $20,000 of their salary into their 401k. We have about $15,000 coming out of the salary for federal and state income taxes. And we have an additional $5,000 coming out of their salary for FICA, Medicare, maybe it's HSA contributions, you know, et cetera. Many deductions that could be coming out of this salary pre-tax. That leaves us with a $60,000 net income. This is the number that is actually hitting this individual's bank account on an annual basis. This is now the number that you should be solving for. So again, you go into retirement and say, hey, I need a hundred grand. If we're actually getting you a hundred thousand dollars net of taxes, you're gonna be making way, way more than what you were even making while working. General rule of thumb is that you're kind of done saving when it gets to retirement. It's time to live off of your money. Not necessarily saying it's a bad thing if you have disposable income and you can kind of build a, a buffer and, and continue to save in retirement. But do not think that you have to solve for 100% of your gross salary. Misconception too, I'm gonna to stay right here on this same scenario, is kind of the polar opposite. We have an individual who comes in, understands that this is what they take home. This is their net pay. Maybe they're getting $5,000 a month, but they just all of a sudden think, you know, magically their expenses are going down in retirement. And the misconception here is that I can live off of 60 or 70% of what I take home today. Not necessarily the case and not how you should go into planning. We believe that a really successful financial plan can replace 100% of what you're taking home right now today. We've actually had some commenters on, on prior videos where this misconception has come into play. So a successful plan is ultimately replacing 100% of what you are taking home right now today. Now, don't get me wrong. 
You may be an individual where some of your expenses are dropping off as you get into retirement. Maybe some debt obligations are getting paid off. Maybe you're not supporting children or you know, whatever it may be. You know, it's important that you look at your specific situation. As I mentioned, we offer a free retirement tune-up that you can access by clicking on the link in the description to really take a look at your situation, understand what number that you should be solving for to determine do you have enough money? How are you gonna make this work throughout retirement? Okay, misconception number three, it kinda goes along the same lines here, is that my taxes are automatically going down. Many individuals tie taxes, and it's kinda just how we've been trained our whole life is to tax defer, 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 and when you get to retirement, your taxes are gonna be lower. I'm here to tell you that's not necessarily the case and a lot of times, many times, we see individuals' taxes at least staying the same, potentially even going up. Let's look at this individual here. Remember, they've been plugging $20,000, you know, let's say on average per year over their lifetime into a tax-deferred 401k, meaning the, the taxes still have to get paid on this money. So individual, we're gonna keep using the same example, they need $60,000 net, but their nest egg that they have built is all pre-tax money. So now we know that they need to take, you know, maybe it's 70 or $75,000 per year to get them their net income need. We have a thing called required minimum distributions that can come into play that ultimately forces you to take distributions from those pre-tax dollars. Generally, at age 73 as it stands right now, that's kind of been a work in progress. But we've seen many times where individuals have deferred for so long, their required minimum distribution now takes them over what they were even making while they were working. So it's not always the case that your taxes are, are going down or getting lower. You may be losing out on some itemizations or deductions that you had while you were working. You know, remember we had some debt potentially. We were able to at least write off those mortgage interests. Now you may be in retirement, you don't have some of those deductions. So again, taxes can stay the same. So can't stress enough, a, a very successful written financial plan should be solving for what you're taking home. We want to build some inflation adjustments into this as well. Again, you want to get your hands on a free retirement tune-up, walk through your specific situation and get a, get a feel for how you can build out a strategy to make this work all the way through retirement. Click on the link in the description. If you like today's content, comment below on what's maybe working for you and make sure that you subscribe to our page, turn on your notifications so you don't miss future content. We post content just like this on a weekly basis. We don't want you to miss out. Till further, see you next time.